now I can take the rock which would lead him to a material loss and I am literally going all through the breach in my rook on the next couple of moves. Rook F1 check with a pin to the rook and I take the rook folks. Let's hope he doesn't win though. I mean that would be a terrible pin. He the rock the success of my game because of the fact now I have a queen. The rook to B2 and now folks we're finally going to checkmate him with a simple ladder mate on queen to A1 and finally folks we have checkmate in it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video folks and in this video we have a new special bot which is a tennis player we'll see the name when we get there and I hope you enjoy the video let's just go to the game because what are we waiting for so now let's play chess with this guy which is Carlos Carlos and Carlos which is 1000 and he's from Spain which is a sensational player to play with because I am also maybe 1000 but hey actually there's something wrong because of the fact they put Elos at 1000 and yet they're not 1000 they're lower than 1000 uh, you know what let's just play so we choose this player no help of any kind we're going to go black be fair and i'm gonna do the england gambit i don't know very much in the england gambit i didn't know why i played it because i didn't know what i'm doing so i might just go on e5 turn to counter gambit the queen's gambit now this has turned into a queen gambit because of the fact that the pawn is there on c4 and there's a pawn on d4 so now folks we go to the albin counter gambit and i go knight to f6 which is a maybe good move which protects the squares and also the pawns i push my pawn so that i I can attack the knight to make that knight be removed although it makes it more powerful i can just go here to trade that powerful knight with my weak knight okay i'm gonna go knight to c6 even though i will double my pawns because i don't know because this knight is too powerful so i'm not gonna let that knight there just staying there like a very powerful knight over there he could pair up with the bishop there and fork me there's a large possibility that he can do it he goes queen to a4 which tries to breach in my pawn but i'll just end it queen to d7 which makes my queen pin to the king even though if there's a bishop here and there's no pawn here so i might just go bishop of the e7 developing another piece another principle good principle developing all the pieces before i attack the white king so i might just castle in the next move castles with the rook to f8 trying to transport the rook there on b8 and also trying to make my king safe which is really nice at this part of the game because castle before move 10 you're going to make your king very safe try to attack the white side i could not see anything because of that side is in the way because takes my pawn i can maybe take back with this pawn but he could also take if i don't take with that pawn so maybe I should take with this pawn. I don't know. I'm just gonna take the pawn because I know I don't know what I'm doing. He goes there, attacks my pawn, attacks here, and tries to breach in with a queen over here and queen to b7. But I'll just go here. So what's the point of that queen being there? What? I'm gonna support my pawn on e4 with pawn f5. This is, doesn't weaken the squares to your king, although it can be a weakness to your squares king because of the fact that it can be exposed to some diagonal attacks. Although I'm trying to open up my rook here, which would be an advantage because of the fact my knight is also there. His bishop is the only one attacking that pawn and also the pawn is the only one attacking that pawn defenders win and attackers if it's equal so i might just go pawn here which will rook be exposed even though if he doesn't take i will just take i will help him develop his bishop although that will help me develop my rook which will be nice although it because honestly i don't know what to do in the next couple of moves okay i'm gonna go knight to g3 not maybe a great move but actually i'm just gonna try to trade the bishops here and try to master oh wait what is this oh my god okay he just straight up blundered the rook on move 17 with a knight on g3 literally having a blind spot for knights and i am literally going all through the breach in with my rook on the next couple of moves folks this is a juicy game for me because now i can take the rock which would lead him to a material loss which would lead him to a material disadvantage because rooks are more powerful than knights he doesn't even take it because there is no pieces to even take it so which is insane i'm gonna go here now and finally, folks, we're going to reach in with the rook, regarding by the rook. Okay, okay, I thought that was a blunder for a second. Bishop to c4. I was hallucinating because of the fact that the queen is covering it. So maybe if I take, will something happen to him? Literally nothing. So we're fine, right? Did he find something? No, he didn't. Because if I go queen to d5, I go, he goes and takes my queen, I'll just my pawns and now my pawn structure is very good First knight to c3 attacks my pawn i could just reinforce it with another pawn on c6 which would lead him to a disadvantage 
in the game which would lead him to a disadvantage of the pawns this is not the difference from advantage because if i go here he takes my pawn i will just take the pawn he will take my rook because there's no guarding the pawn that's not a disadvantage for me because watch as i go rook to f1 steamrolling from this side on rook to f8 from two rook to f1 and rook to f1 check with a pin to the rook and i take the rook folks let's hope he doesn't win though i mean that would be a terrible fate. He blunders the rook. I'm gonna go rook to c8. Trying to attack that weak pawn. Because now it's doubled. And there's no pawns that can literally just defend it. H4. Which would defend my knight from this train. Because of the fact I wouldn't lose my knight. Why would I lose my knight? The next couple of moves will be me taking his pawn. And also I will take this other pawn. He takes that pawn. I could just take this pawn. There's no fork, right? Right? Is there a fork? Yo. I just said there's, there's no fork. Oh well, that happens, so we cannot change the past. Oh my god, I just thought that this rook is being blundered and that knight is the bishop. Anyways, I'm just gonna... Okay, that was milliseconds away from me from blundering my whole rook into pieces. Maybe I could just go here and then maybe in the next couple of moves, I can maybe queen... Oh freak, I forgot about that. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm kind of dead. I mean, look at my IQ of this. I'm blundering pawns. What am I doing, bro? Anyways, I'm gonna go here and try to defend this position over here because of the- Bro, what is this guy on? Let's take the knight. I can throw a knight to d8. Did he just self-destruct? Is this any purpose for a knight to d8 to this as a sacrifice? Maybe yes, maybe not. I don't know. I could maybe just take this, right? I could go here. He will take. I did a sacrifice, but for one pawn and for a bishop, I know it looks stupid, but now I'm winning. Now I have a rook, and now I have three pawns, which would be the success to my win, which would maybe be the success of my game because of the fact, now I have a queen. Let's hope we not draw this this bot over here, which is a tennis player. Not a chess player, but a tennis player, which is maybe going to beat me. I should not win. What? I should not lose this because of the fact, he is a tennis player. I am a chess player only, and I should not lose this because he there he goes king there and finally folks we maybe get the ladder mate i should go here and then go here and finally folks we get the ladder mate it took a couple of stupid moves but we made it there on checkmate even though i am over thousand and it looks very stupid he goes king to be a six and finally we are not yet going to check i'm gonna go huh. okay we're going to rock to b2 and now folks we're finally going to checkmate him with a simple ladder mate on queen to a1 and finally folks we have checkmate in it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a short video. See you guys in the next video, which is maybe another bot, which is Dolingo, because Dolingo still exists in the event of chess.com, which is the, which are bots. I don't know. I should maybe play those. I might not play those. And I have live blunders in this game. I don't know why I mentioned. I should go now. Please subscribe and like to motivate me. More videos like this. And peace out, everyone. Peace out. Hooray!